found myself smiling more. Hi, everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Well, today I'm here to do my makeup challenge weekly update for you guys. This is going to run from February 19th through the 25th. Okay. Just really, really quickly, a quick, quick overview. The challenge that I put myself was to try to earn points so that I can get cashed out some money so that I can go buy makeup. <laughs> and so there's two ways for me to earn points. One is using my make makeup, you know, using it up. I get points so every certain makeup items are uh, given a certain amount and so once I use it up I get those points. The other way is actually wearing the makeup during the week. Uh, I'm allotted 0.5 of a point for every time I wear makeup uh, during the week. Now I also get money for makeup through my sales for credit. I do sell on eBay and Posh and so if I get $100 in net sales therefore I will cash myself $10. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and recap from last week, which ran from February 12th through the 20th. I'm sorry, February 12th through February 18th. All right. The point system, I got 3.5 points that I'm carrying over. Sales for credit, I am carrying over $76.25, but I do have a deficit of $16.74. I'll put a link right here to the video from last week explaining why I'm in a deficit. So that 1674 is what I owe the challenge. Okay. So yeah, it'll explain it in that video as to why. All right, let's go into the current week, which is the 19th through the 25th, or this is what the update is for the 19th through the 25th. All right. So makeup use up. Did I use up any makeup? No, 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 no makeup use up. But next week, look out for it. Look out for it. Cause yeah. <laughs> All right. Makeup use up nothing. Makeup wear, how many days did I wear makeup in the week? I wore it four days, so that gave me two points. For every day I wear makeup, it's 0.5 of a point. If I wear makeup seven days a week, it'll be four points. It'll be a bonus of 0.5. All right, so with that said, total points then is two points. Carrying over the 3.5 points from last week, that gives me a total of 5.5. So I get to cash out $10. <laughs> All right. So with that said, I'm carrying over 0.5. Okay. For the new week. All right. So sales for credit. How did that go? Posh. I've been doing really good with Posh guys. I think my stores, my Posh closet and my eBay store are starting to get into the algorithm a little bit. Been working really, really hard in my store really dedicating a little bit every day. Um, I even dedicated the weekend to it and I've been making a lot of, a lot of improvement in my stores and in my posh closet. All right. So for posh, I did sell $13 and 60 cents. Now on the 25th, I did get three sales for posh, but I'm not counting those this in this update because with posh, they hold the money until the item gets to the person and then the person gives you a feedback. So they don't release it until it's all cleared through. Now, I don't know, I've never had it to where somebody didn't give me a feedback and I think eventually they'll, they have to just release it, but I don't know what the time frame is for that. I'm not sure, but anyway, that's not the point. The point is those uh, sales that came in on the 25th, I do not count them because it's not released into my bank account. I absolutely wait until I have the funds available to me. Okay. So $13.60 for Posh for now. All right. eBay. How did I do on eBay? eBay. I had a total of $77.23 for eBay. Now with eBay, it is different because they release the funds as soon as they pay. I get the funds. Um, you can use, you can use it instantly. The, the funds. Uh, or uh, I like to get paid out every week. I get paid out every Wednesdays or, or Wednesday it's, it's in my account. However, it's still available to me. I, I can literally use it off the site. So, but I don't do that. I like, I like to get paid um, weekly. Anyway, <laughs> little tidbits, but $77.23. So with Posh being $13.60, uh, I have $90.83. So carry the carry over was seventy six twenty five. That is a total of one hundred and sixty seven dollars and eight cents was my total sales for credit. So for every hundred dollars, I get paid out ten. So I get ten dollars. 
<laughs> All right, so that's twenty dollars for me to use um, for for makeup. However, not so fast. I do have a deficit of sixteen seventy four. So that clears up my deficit and gives me a three dollars and twenty six cents to play with, but not so fast. <laughs> not so fast. I still have a little mini deficit which we're going to get into because I do have a haul for you guys. So let me recap really, really quickly, and then I will show you the item. Just one little item, guys. All right, so what it is, we are going to um, carry over in terms of points, 0.5 of a point. And as far as the sales for credit, we are carrying over $16.08. Not bad, not bad, All guys. Right. So right. with the $3.26, let me show you the little item that I got. I got this ColourPop Crush uh, Palette, Powder Palette, that's what it says. All right, and then this was $4.99 at TJ Maxx. So let me show you this little palette here. Now I'll tell you why I got it, okay? These are the types of colors that I really do have a lot of but I want to share this one color. They have names on it. Hold on, let me put my glasses. Okay, so the color is Love, L-U-V. Okay, so the colors are Bow, Bow, Love, uh, Arrow, uh, Struck, and then Cherub. So it's like a, oh, Crush palette. Oh, I see, whole Valentine's Day thing. All right, this color right here, I'll even swatch it for you. This color intrigued me because it seems, now I may have it in my Morphe Big Big palette, but I love this color. See that? It. I don't know if I have it. I'm not sure if I have it in any of my palettes. I may have it in the Morphe, uh, like the matte palette, 350, I think it's called, 350. It's a big one. But I may have that color in there, but I don't know. I got it because of that. I really do like it. I really, really do. Let's go ahead and swatch these shimmery ones. Why don't we? This one is Arrow, and then this one is Struck. So, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that one. Struck. Look at that one. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful and it's not just the overlay it's not the top layer it's throughout the whole shadow okay so that's what I got you guys that's what I got let me go clean off my hands okay so with that said um, with tax and everything this was five dollars and 38 cents I had three dollars and what was it three dollars and 26 cents to play with so I'm in a deficit of two dollars and 12 cents not bad not bad at all. It's just, uh, I've never seen, I don't think, well, I've seen ColourPop at TJ Maxx. I have, but to see that many palettes and things, uh, you know, yeah. Anyway, that's what I got. That color really intrigues me. And now that other one, um, what was it? Struck. It's a nice one. So we'll do something with that. All right, guys, let's go into our hundred envelope savings challenge really, really quickly. Um, I will have some cash uh, to put in. Um, now this really has nothing to do with the makeup challenge per se. It is linked only in that everything that I put in this envelope comes out of my sales from Posh and from eBay. All of the money that I get, there's some that I put into my personal account, which I have one exactly like this, this envelope challenge, but it's yellow for my personal account. But this one here is all the sales uh, so I give some to my personal account and then I keep some for this challenge for myself. Um, so that, that's why it's linked in, in that way because it's everything that I make on my sales. All right. So what are we going to, what are we going to fill in today? Today we are going to fill in is $30 I have. And I think, uh, we're just going to go ahead and put these in the $30 envelope. So uh, let me get that. $30 envelope. There we go. All right. And so now we're going to take our tracker. We're going to get the $30 bubble and we're going to 
circle that. I want to get a different highlighter so we can have a colorful <laughs> tracker. All right, and so what it is, so now all these numbers here correspond to the envelopes that are in here. At the end of it all, you should have $5,050. So there we go. There we go. Finally got to um, <laughs> put some money into our challenge here. All right, guys, the other thing I want to talk about really, really quickly, and I kind of want to mention this uh, because if you've seen that I do hauls and I separate the makeup that I do here, uh, every makeup that I show, it's from the challenge money that I earn. Um, and then also I do like hauls, like I do TJ Maxx hauls and things like that. And in there, I might show a makeup item. And that's because my husband or something bought it. So I just kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit because I was thinking about it and I never really cleared this point up. So I kind of want to say it here. When it comes to uh, anniversaries, birthday, Valentine's, Mother's Day, that kind of thing, if my family, my husband, my children, they always tend to give me gift cards or and other things, but I'm just keeping it on the makeup portion of it. But they always seem to get me something like that because they really do know that I enjoy makeup and things like that. So those don't really count. And that's why that is being showed in the halls, the regular halls. Everything here is coming out of money that I'm working through, through the challenge. So... Uh, my anniversary, wedding anniversary is coming up. It's March 4th, uh, 26 years together, <laughs> 24 married, but uh, it's coming up. And so I already know, he's already told me <laughs> a couple of things that he's going to get me. And so it's going to have to do with some makeup and things. So I just kind of, I just kind of wanted to clarify that too, because I will be having makeup that in addition to what I'm doing here, but they're throughout the year. It's not like, you know what I mean? It's not all the time and yeah. Okay, so there's a couple that. of the things I wanna share with you really, really quickly is things that are on my radar. Um, I have a couple more things. Um, one of the things that I showed, where did I show it? In a haul, in a TJ Maxx haul. I'll put, it, I'll put a link right here, but I'm gonna show it here again. It was the um, Polish Choice, the Booster, the booster that you're seeing now. I want to get that. Uh, the sample, I had purchased a sample from TJ Maxx. I paid $4.50 for it. I've been using that and oh my goodness, but it is around $58. <laughs> so that's definitely on my radar. I really, really would love to get the full sample or the full, full product on that one. The other one is the Selena, uh, Selena Gomez. Uh, I do want to try her blushes. I mentioned that, but the brush, the concealer brush is on my radar. I've seen a couple of influencers uh, use that brush, really talk highly of it. And I like it. So that one is, I think it's $18. So that's not too, too bad. Now, speaking of the blushes, I was uh, looking at an influencer talk about the blushes and they say they go on very, very like they're like a, like a cream. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, they go on like a cream, you know, like a cream blush, but they almost turn like a powder. And what's interesting, I have her eye primer, uh, and the primer goes on very creamy, but then it turns into like a very soft powder. So, you know, when she said that, I heard that about the, her blushes. I thought, wow, I wonder if more, a lot of her products are like that. So her line, her line is definitely on my radar. And then the other thing I saw recently, I saw Pixie's eye serum. That one caught my eye too. Uh, but that one, I think it's a little pricey, but um, that one's definitely on, on my radar. And there are a couple other things, but I will share them along as I go. And as I buy some of these things, um, we'll definitely cross it off for sure. Yeah. There's a couple things. And my friend here told me that the Laura Mercier weightless blur powder that they have a smaller size in that one, like a little deluxe sample or, you know what I mean? So I'm thinking I'm going to go pick that up this weekend 
um, or at some point, um, because I really want to try that blurring. The older I get, guys, the older I get, I tell you. <laughs> I tell you. Anyways, that is it, my friends. That is all for this update. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I will see you guys next week for my makeup challenge update. Okay, take care. Bye.